Hello everybody and welcome to my 10th Excel 2010 VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use date variables. Um, so they're similar to normal variables we just declare them in the same way so I'm going to just declare a variable called my date as and then you declare it as a date. Um, now there's an important thing to remember about dates and if you've used Excel quite a lot then you probably know this anyway but Dates in VBA and Excel aren't stored as how you traditionally write them. So let's say we're going to write them as 12th of the 2nd, 2013. So today's date um, in uh, in UK format. Um, so this for VBA, this isn't a date. This actual date is um, is worked out as a number of days since the first of the first 1900s. So, if I switch out into Excel, I've got a few dates here. So I've got tomorrow. Um, I've got 30 days down the line, and then I've also got a time today. Um, so if you might have seen this before, so if I just switch these out to general format, and you see that they're not actually being stored in Excel as those those formats. I mean, stored in Excel as these time serial numbers. So this number here the number of days from the first of the first 1900 tomorrow is just that number plus one because tomorrow there's going to be one more day since 1900 30 days down the line so it's going to be that many days plus 30 times are a little bit different so times still use the same method of number of days since first of the first 1900 um, except instead of having um, instead of having just been a whole number which just shows the date it's got a decimal point in as well so 0 0.25 and what that means is 0 0.25 of the day so that's going to take us through to 6 o'clock if we say we changed it to 0.5 and then looked at this in date format uh, and then this is going to come through um, and date format isn't what I wanted I wanted date and time so let's just find that Date and time. Um, so that's going to show 12 o'clock today. Um, if you wanted to skip out that bit um, and you just have a time and you don't have a date, then it's going to be based off of the the one from 1900. So if we go into general, yeah, so that literally just 0 0.5. So it shows up as 0 0.5 of a day. So that's how you'd represent 12 o'clock. Um, so this is an important concept to remember because once you understand this, it becomes really, really easy to work with all of your, your date variables. Um, so let's say we've got today's date. We want to find out what tomorrow's date is. Well, all we need to do is just add 1 to the value of date. Um, so it gets very, very simple. Um, so how do we actually assign values to this? So well, We've already established that we're not going to write it just as you would with a normal date. So we're not going to write it like this. Um, but we are going to do it in a very similar way to this. So we could just put that in. But then as you notice it's expanded it out. And what Excel is actually thinking this is doing is it's saying 12 divided by 2 divided by 2013. And that's going to give us a time of something like four o'clock in the morning or something or four minutes in the morning so it's going to give us a really really small number so what you just need to do is you need to put in some hashtags and then what these say are okay I am putting in a date now get ready for the date of your life um, and then it lets you put in your date um, you can then use this date however you want so if this, let's, let's put it into uh, this cell down here, so A3, so this workbook dot sheets uh, sheet one dot range A3 dot value equals my dates. Let's press play on this. Switch back. Uh, and then you notice that it's put in uh, 2nd of the 12th, 2013. Now, I wanted today's date. I wanted 12th of the 2nd. Um, so, this is kind of a 
one of the, one of the biggest flaws of Excel. Um, it's not fu it's fine for you guys over in America, but for us guys over here that have all our Excel set up so that it formats it as uh, kind of uh, day, month, year. Um, it's actually going to take it as month, day, year in the American format. Um, so that's really important to remember. If you, whenever you're putting it in like this, it's always in the American format. Um, so second, twelve. So second month, twelve day, two thousand and thirteen. Now, when we press play on this, and we come back into here. It's going to have switched it back into the whatever format you have your Excel set up to. Um, so that's a really important one to remember. There's really no way around it. If you can try searching around on your computer, you're not going to get anywhere. It it's set as a standard part of VBA. Um, if anyone does know a way, then please, please, please let me know. But um, my experience uh, has been that there's, I've never found anyone who's known how to fix it. Um, so just keep your dates in American when you're writing them in like that. Um, so what can we do now? So we don't want to just take a date and put it in our thing. So how do we work with these dates? So we can now put in, so let's say my date equals my date plus one. So we can do really simple mathematics. And if you remember, it was a time serial. Um, so giving it plus one, it's just going to add one onto the, the day. So it's going to show us what tomorrow is. So let's press play. Go into here. So this is showing 13th of the 2nd, 2013. So that's how you do tomorrow. You can do any number of days. And similarly, if you want to do times, then just do 0 0.5 or so you add half a day. Or if you want to do an hour, then it would be 124th, which would be around about 0 0.039 or something like that. Um, you'd be able to work out more because you could just put 1 over 24. Um, and that would give you an extra hour. 